in this starting oh, 15 for New Zealand. Oh, and in goes Topoli, and it's He's a in. gift. And New Zealand have been handed seven points in the fourth minute. What anticipation by the open side under the England radar. Well, they say he's putting the captain Kane under pressure from his jackling and his all-round play, but that is an absolute gift in a sense. I think they've seen that on the training paddock. He's read that superbly well. That's another mistake from the scrum half. You do not give that pass. You do not give it. You can see him flying out the line totally legally, and there's no one on England can actually get within 10 metres of him. It's a New Zealand side very much on the upgrade. Cody Taylor who himself has had his problems this season on the rugby pitch. Getting back to his best form. Some of the big fellas coming in, Cody Taylor's there! Has That's he got it down? And the referee says yes. New Zealand have a second try, and we've been playing eight and a half minutes. Again, you've got to say that uh, Scott... Scott Barrett is right in front. I am of the ball carrier, but it doesn't really matter, it's allowed, and they, well, England are shell-shocked, the crowd are shell-shocked. Two tries, as you said, Martin, in eight-and-a-half minutes. Oh, okay. Well, Cody Taylor suffered a dip in okay, form. Okay. A man who admits himself, he doesn't take compliments well. <laughs> They've now strung together Six consecutive victories, and at half-time at Twickenham, to narrow that deficit to just 11 points. Free play again. Bowden Barrett, that kick pass once again, in space, and look at Ioane, and Ioane's a real sprinter. He's gone, Johnny mate. May's coming across, He's gone. but May... Can't get there, and Ioane gets the try. This time the try, the try stands, and I think that's the game. I don't want to write England off. To Alangi, well, no chance. But again, they have took, they have torn England apart with this kick pass today. Papa Lee, they started things off with that interception of the pass of Van Port. That's a penalty again. See, Billy Vinopola are given a penalty where they'll take three. Back the attempt at the drop from Bowden Barrett, who has chance to pick his spot. It is accurate. Marcus Smith and Smith is through. Tries to go himself. In the end, he's cut down by his opposite number. And once again, England are into the New Zealand 22. And not for the first time. It's a penalty offence from New Zealand. Well, it's got to be a card there may as well. be ramifications. I think you're right, Dowie. And they've got over, and it looks like they got it down. They're appealing. Well, it'll be easy to judge. Here's Henry Slade. Ribbons, great offload. Now there's space for England. Now they're starting to flow. Freddie Stewart getting through Moonga. Here's Ben Youngs. On to Marco Vunapola. The tackle from Whitelock. Youngs again. Stewart! England have another. The game remains alive. Where's that thing? Farrell in space. Stewart just carry it. Hold on to that ball, lad. Hold on. He does. And then it's just a matter of numbers. Two to one. Doesn't need the man outside. Scores it. Marcus Smith out there to Curry. A crescendo. Slade out to Porter. England are within five. The clock says we're approaching the final minute. David Ribbons, what a finish. Vunapola, who would have thought England within a matter of inches of a possible draw here? Ben Youngs up there, Come on. Stewart! Oh, yes! And the hand is up there from the referee, Renard. There is an England penalty. That's down, that's a try. What England will do. Will they be satisfied with the draw? They are. Marcus Smith fires it into touch. Mathieu Reynal.